As Israel's IDF continues to strike Hamas targets in Gaza, our correspondent Jody Cohen interviewed IDF spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Richard Hecht on the condition of the hostages and operations against Hamas militants and Hezbollah. What can you tell us about anything you know from the CCTV footages of the welfare of the hostages that have been taken back to Gaza? So again, the hostages is a very, very sensitive issue. Um, I don't think the word welfare is a relevant term. I mean, I'm, knowing Hamas, is, welfare is probably not in their considerations. Again, we're telling them if you touch one of their, if you damage or kill one of our hostages, it'll be, you'll pay a severe price for it. And we're hearing about the IDF preparing for a ground operation into Gaza. Can you tell us about the goals of that operation? So we haven't declared our future stages yet and what they will be. We will do it when the operational conditions are in place. Currently, we're striking Hamas uh, from the sea and from the air. Uh, and we'll act uh, based on our leadership's decision on, on our future stages. We've heard, though, that the goal would be to dismantle Hamas terror infrastructure. Absolutely. Uh, we have the obligation to make sure that they never do this again. They never have the capability to do this again. What can you tell us about what Israel is doing in the IDF strategy to try and prevent Hezbollah from joining in on the northern border? So there's a language here of kinetics, which people that are in this region and military people understand. They're engaging with us on the line. We're responding. Uh, all their uh, activity that was basically breaching the 1701 agreement where they trickled down to the south, we're now responding to that infrastructure. And we're saying to Lebanon and also Hezbollah, you better not sacrifice your future because of uh, Hamas. Because if they come into this, the consequences will be grave. Are messages also being sent to Iran? Because we're hearing a lot about Iran and its proxies in the region um, potentially getting involved in this. So what can you tell us about that? So it's something we're looking at. Uh, you know, I would, I w all I would say is uh, to look at what the American government is doing. They've deployed a lot of forces here. Uh, I can just amplify what General Carrillo, the central commander of the American U.S. Army said is we are here to make sure no third party comes into this. They better stay out. Our focus right now is Hamas. We've also seen in much of the international media and from statements from global leaders, there's obviously concern about civilians in Gaza as well. What can you tell us about the IDF's strategy to protect civilians in Gaza? So we've uh, declared the... Uh, humanitarian uh, movements which is basically saying to them leave Gaza City all you should basically move south of Wadi Gaza we've uh, also established a humanitarian zone on the coast called the Moasi and you've also seen some uh, humanitarian assistance coming in through the Rafah crossing which is done by the Egyptians but of course coordinated with us uh, we're not fighting the civilians of Gaza we're fighting Hamas but the, the, the problem is that they are hiding behind their civilians so we're doing everything we can to minimize but again we'll always remind the world what happened here because they started this and we have to respond severely and make sure hamas doesn't have that capability again we on is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move